Hey guys, Andrew here once again. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. Um, so this week's Wednesday Word of the Week comes out of Hebrews chapter 3. Now last week, Pastor Tim dove into what it looks like to take a day of rest and what that really uh, looks like um, throughout our week to actually take a Sabbath day and commit 24 hours to the Lord. This week um, in Hebrews 3, we're going to be specifically looking at um, chapter 3 verses 7 through 19. And um, I just want to highlight a couple of points here from those passages. Um, so the author of Hebrews says in verse 7, Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion on the day of testing in the wilderness where your fathers put me to the test and saw my works for 40 years. Now, the author of Hebrews here is referencing um, the people of Israel in Egypt who had been enslaved for over 400 years. And once God had brought them a deliverer through Moses, he frees them. He delivers his people out of the hands of Egypt and then has them in the desert um, wandering for 40 years. And it didn't take long after these people who had witnessed unending amount of miracles from God. These people saw God turn the Nile into blood. They saw their God rain down fire from heaven. They saw God turn the entire sky dark. They even saw God part the Red Sea so that they could cross. All these supernatural things that they were face to face with. And yet, immediately after that, they found themselves in the desert and were complaining and grumbling before God. So God brings them bread from heaven and eventually they start to complain because they want more. So God provides them with meat. An endless amount of times they said they wanted water, God provided them with water. But their grumblings did not subside and they never felt complacent. They never felt content with what they had. And so the author here is saying, don't be like that. Don't harden your hearts as though you are an Israelite in the desert towards God. Don't um, completely depart from the way of God, of being so close to God. And so that's what I wanted to challenge you this week to look at. What are the ways that we are like the Israelites in our lives? We have seen God do amazing things in our personal lives and in our world. Now I know that each of you has a testimony and has a story in your life of how God touched you, of how God uh, came through when you needed him the most, how God answered your prayers, and how God did supernatural things in your life. However, when we look at that, we still find ourselves at times complaining and grumbling and wanting more. Bread is not enough, we want meat. We don't have enough water. Well, that's clearly here in Southern California, but you know what I mean. It's something where we never feel like we have enough. So try to think of those, um, those things in your life where you feel um, discontent, where you feel like you've been given a gift, but you still feel like you want more. And if, if the answer is an abundance of things, that's okay. We just want an honest response here. And if in my own life, I can definitely admit to the fact there are certainly specific things that I can think of that God has blessed me with, and yet I still find myself yearning for more. And it seems like it is never enough. So Pastor Tim is going to kind of um, uh, unpack that this week of what it looks like to, to harden our hearts and, and how we do that. He's going to identify some ways. And then how do we solve that problem? If we feel like we are those Israelites that have hardened our hearts and have, have um, turned away from the ways of obedience to God, what does that look like? And one of the ways that we start by doing that is encouraging one another. God gives us his church. He gives us the fellowship of one another to be able to lift each other up in those times. And when we feel like we don't have enough, we can have our brothers in Christ and sisters in Christ to affirm us and to give us that confirmation that, that Jesus came and died and that that is enough. So we're going to dive into that this coming Sunday. I hope you can join us and I hope you have a great rest of your week.